The arc definition describes the relationship between the radius and degree of curvature for highway design. Alternatively, in railroad design, the chord definition is typically used. The arc definition states that the degree of curve is the angle formed by two radii drawn from the center of a circle to the ends of an arc 100 feet long. The larger the degree of curve, the sharper the curve. In general, we're going to look at this relationship where we have the central angle bounded by the arc divided by the degrees in a full circle equal to the arc length divided by the perimeter of the circle. And this is how we're going to derive that equation between degree of curvature and the radius. So looking at this in an image, we have a circle. We've got our two radii drawn from the center of that circle. The ang angle that's formed between those radii is the degree of curvature. So that's the, the angle between those two lines of radii. And then the arc is 100 feet. So it's an arc length along the arc of the circle connecting those two radial lines. As I mentioned previously, the, in railroad design, a chord length is used. So in those instances for railroad design, you're looking at the straight line distance or the chord length between those two points on the edge of the circle. So that's a little different for railroad design. Actually looking at this equation, so if we take those kind of the general parameters, we have the degree of curve divided by 360 degrees in that circle. So we have DC over the 360 is equal to 100, that's our arc length, 100 feet, divided by 2 times pi times the radius, which is the perimeter of the circle. We can simplify this a little bit, solving for the radius, and that's the common way to see this equation. So the radius equals 100 feet times 360 degrees divided by 2 pi times the degree of curve. Further simplifying this, that's going to take us, the radius is equal to 36,000 divided by 2 times pi times the degree of curvature. Further simplifying 18,000 divided by pi times the degree of curve. And then the equation we see most often is the radius equals 5729.578 divided by the degree of curvature. So that's where that 5729.578 comes from. Moving back over to the 18,000 divided by pi is that what that number represents. So if you see that equation, radius equals 5729.578 divided by degree of curve. This is how it's derived and it's based on the art definition that ties the relationship for the radius and degree of curve for highway design.